So this is a very short, simple tutorial on how to use the layer editor in Maya. And the layer editor is a really, really simple and useful tool that you're going to use all the time on production. And in fact, when you get started on production, one of the first things you're going to do is start to put things on layers, just like you might do in Photoshop, in order to have an efficient workflow. So here's a very simple shot I've done here of a lamp hopping across a desk in Maya. And you can see it's just one, one hop, it's 40 frames long. But now I want to go in and mess around with the animation and make some changes. And you can see if I select stuff, let's say if I try and select the lamp here, I'm also selecting the background, which I really don't want to do. Now obviously I can turn off select surface objects, which means that when I select the lamp, I'm not going to select the background objects as well. But even better and more efficient is to create a layer for the background so that I can get rid of it. And then I just have my lamp and my grid to work with. So the first thing to do is go to Windows Outliner, find all the stuff I've got. So here we go, our outliner tells us, it gives you an outline of what's in your shot. And there's my set, which I've got in a separate um, um, uh, folder here um, so that it's easy to find and properly named and I can select everything in one go. So I'm just going to minimize my outliner and then I'm going to go down here to the layer editor and I'm going to go layers create empty layer and I'm going to double click on layer one which is the default name and I'm going to call this set layer like that set layer and then I'm going to go save and then with my um, set still selected I'm going to go right click add selected objects and then I just turn off the visibility there and now I've just got my lamp hopping and I've not got the set in the way. And I can turn that on anytime I want. If I want to do a desktop render, um, I can uh, turn the set back on again, but I can get rid of it for now uh, just by turning off that visibility toggle. And also, if I wanted to get rid of most of the set, but let's say leave the desk in place, I could create a separate layer for the desk and a separate layer for the rest of the set so that I could turn off most of the background but still leave the bits that are interacting with my character in place on the screen. So that is how to use the set layer in Maya. I guarantee when you're working on production, this is going to be one of the very first tools that you're going to need to know how to do in order to develop an efficient workflow.